Hey, what's going on, guys? G-Dog Casey here with my buddy Matt, casting some more StarCraft II action from the Chobo Team League. This is a Week 6 matchup between Team All Inspiration and Team Unrivaled. And I'll start off first by introducing the Red Zerg player in the top left corner of Merry-Go-Round. It is Team All Inspiration's Nexlux. And in the bottom portion of the map, we have our yellow Protoss player for Team Unrivaled, Polar. So we have a PvZ matchup here, which I am thoroughly interested in because I play a lot against Casey and just some fun games against each other, and it is always a PvZ. So maybe I can learn a thing or two from this matchup in order to beat Casey more often. <laughs> we'll have to take a look and see what Polar does and what kind of strategy he wants to use against the next Lux Zerk player. So uh, next looks going in the correct direction here with the Overlord. He's going to be able to scout out, see if there's a natural going down. Pylon on the low ground indicates a forge first, or at least a forge fast expanded. But you don't always have to do it with a forge. You could put a gateway down there. Uh, we'll just have to see. And the probe's going to scout around and take a look at the base and see what he sees. Obviously, it's a little early, though, and there's really nothing going on for next looks yet. No early pool. So he knows that his forge is probably going to be safe or his gateway, either way, realizing that uh, there isn't going to be early aggression as it stands so far, but he's just going to patrol the natural and see the timing of that natural if and when it does come down. Yeah, and he didn't spot the pool that went down first, so it was a pool first, and he just looks like he's going to be blocking the hatchery here. Um, he has the ability to drop a nexus first if he wants. Uh, with that pool first, it's not really the best idea, but it's still doable. Because uh, most of the time, you just get that pool for queen production. But we'll see, yeah. and he is going to drop that nexus first. So a very greedy opening by Polar. Let's see if this works out for him. If he's able to sustain long enough to take on, uh, to, to have more bases than our Zerg player, then I would give the advantage to the Protoss player. But uh, if, the Zerg, if the Zerg comes in with some aggression onto that early natural before he gets some defenses into play, it could be all but over. And that Overlord is flying into the main here. It's going to see that there's no buildings at the front of the main. And then it's going to... Oh, it looks like he actually just wants to make sure he sees the base there. That, so he sees it, and then he's going to move into the natural and see what he sees down here, which is a forge and a gateway. With that natural, almost three... Or almost halfway done. So either he's going to come with some aggression on Zerg player, or in response he may dro drop his own third. Yeah, which is usually the more standard thing to do is just drop that third. The probe is ready for it. There's a probe scouting around here waiting to see another drone leave the natural here. Or he might just be getting tricky here and thinking about dropping a pylon. We'll have to see. The thing is, is that Nexus can choose between which third base he wants to go for. Generally, you would go for the one down here that's a little more on the left side of the map. Um, but I've seen Zerg players go for both sides. So we'll have to see which one he chooses. But right now at the moment, he's just uh, dropping a very early Roach Warren. Actually, that's almost finished. Um, and that's going to allow him to pump out quite a few Roaches. Yeah, so it looks like his response, rather than being uh, to expand, seeing that the uh, the second is already done for our Protoss player, on even bases, he's going to come with some aggression. And if the defense can hold, I would give that advantage to the Protoss player. Oh, big time, yeah, because he's probing up his second base. Now, he actually has, like, 13 more workers than Nexlux. Nexlux is on a very small income here, so he's putting all his eggs in this attack here. Um, he's going to be attacking quite a few roaches and links. There's not even speed for the links yet. Uh, he doesn't have the gas yet. I don't even know if he's interested in starting that. He might just use that gas from uh, roaches. But the attack is coming. Now, yep. there's, like, three cannons being built or two cannons, sorry, being built for Polar. So he knows this is on the way, and I don't think Nexus can break this with, with what he has. No, he's completely walled himself in. I don't think there's going to be a way for him to get, to get through as it stands. Good uh, placement of that Photon Cannon. Yeah, and the Mothership Core is out as well, so he might be able to take down, like, one cannon, but no, this is definitely not going to be enough to do it here. And he's so far behind, worker-wise. He's just, I think he's just realizing right now that he's probably just already lost. Because, what can he do now? Even if he pulls back, he's not going to have enough time to probe up his, or drone up his natural, which doesn't even have any drones at all at it. That wall is amazing. Those lings are just barely getting in, but they're attacking the wrong thing. They've already made their way in. 
They should be going into the mineral line to try and do some economic damage, but they're just going to get cleaned up. Yeah. Get one probe with this cell, it's going to finish it up. Now, now there are a couple roaches, and there is only one cannon left, so we got another handful of lings here. With a couple roaches for support, I don't know where those roaches are going. He needs to bring them into the attack here, but they are not doing that. Okay, they're showing up now, but they're a little bit late to the party. And because of the pylon placement here, it's going to be very hard for those links to get around and actually attack that cannon. They're just actually just running in circles and dying right now. More yeah. links being rallied. There's a bunch of links right here behind this little wall. Where the little satellite thing is, there's like six links hiding back there. You can't even see them. I guess if you tilt the, uh, yeah, there they are. If you tilt the camera, you can see them a little bit, but that's hilarious. Oh, no, now the Void Ray's going to clean up these overlords. He's going to supply block next Lux uh, severely as it stands with uh, only 41 supply with only uh, 28 available to him. He is almost completely walled in. A very good defense by Polar. Uh, and in response, there has been no dropping of the third, no... Uh, no response at all from Nexlux as it stands. No, he decided to drone up instead. And actually, he is he's catching up. He's not as far behind as he was. But he doesn't even have a queen at his natural yet. Um, and with Void Rays coming in, all he has to attack Void Rays is queens. So this is going to be pretty tough. I'd like to at least see a couple spores go down. But I don't think he's really expecting the attack to come this quickly. Now, I wonder if he's going to focus first on these overlords and completely supply cap him again, or if he's going to just go straight for the hatchery. No. Nope. He's going for the overlords and the There's the GG. Yeah. Quickly realized here by Nexus that he wasn't going to be able to hold up these two Void Rays, as well as the Mothership Core, and then the, the Zealots and Stalker that were on the way. So yeah, very, so... Oh, go ahead. Uh, very good defense by... Bipolar. Uh, Nexlux didn't transition into anything after the failed attack and just kept streaming units across the map to their death, which led to the counterattack with Void Rays Bipolar. Uh, and good game by both players. Yeah, it was fun to watch. A nice quick game here. So stay tuned, guys. It's a very close matchup so far. I'm actually unsure of the exact score at the moment, uh, but I know it's close. So stay tuned. We have two more matchups to cast here. We have them coming shortly for you guys. See you later.